is Jennifer Bailey, and I am representing Sugar Hill Brewing Company. Three years ago, in the town of St. Paul, where I live and work, ATV trails came in. A trailhead was established in our town, and we realized that there was nowhere for people to stay within a 20-mile radius. So my husband and I took some rental property that we had, and we furnished it completely. We made it very comfortable so that people could come in and spend a night, a weekend, a week, and just relax and enjoy it. Well, every time these people came into our town, the first question they asked, Where, where's a good place to eat? Well, unfortunately, in our town, we had two places that were not chains to eat. So, if they ask the additional question, where can we get a good beer? Well, there was a problem. Because if you wanted a bottle of beer, you better like Mexican. Because three miles away, there was a Mexican restaurant, and that was it for 20 miles. So we recognized that there was a void that needed to be filled. So we decided to start Sugar Hill Brewing Company. And the reason we decided to go with the brewery was because we discovered that our son, who's now 23 years old, had been brewing beer for years. <laughs> and he was quite good at it. So we said, wow, a brewery. We knew that craft beer appeals to so many people in the adult age group. It's the millennials and the Gen Xers. It's up to 49% of those people love craft beer. So we knew that when we knew somebody who knew how to uh, brew beer and we knew how to eat and what kind of food was good, we knew we had a good thing going. Our vision for this restaurant is to have fresh food, fresh beer, upbeat attitude, and excellent service. What's not to love about that? Who wouldn't drive? all over the county to be able to come to a place like that. So we are going to be a destination with this kind of food, this kind of beer. Now look at that good looking tree. Over there. <laughs> That's me and our son and my husband. We are the owners of Sugar Hill Brewing Company. We're going to basically need two people for the brewery side of it. We need a brewmaster and we need an assistant brewer. Now, my son would like to be one of those, but he's a pharmacy student, so he's only going to get to come in every so often. I mean, he lives in Johnson City, but he will assist with that, but we will have to have a couple people with that. Fortunately, there are some experts who live just across the hill. They've helped other breweries get started. So then on the restaurant side, we have to have more people for that. Uh, we have a general manager who we, we already have in place. We have We'll need cooks, dishwashers, servers. We'll need several people, 13 in all. And the accounting support, see that's coming down from me to accounting support. I've got a little too much to do, so I'm going to need a little help. So, so far, we have our loan. It has, we are approved. Our financing is in place. The additional that we need, we are able to put that in ourselves. We have our equipment ordered. We're going to be a five barrel system, which means about 175 gallons will be able to be brewed at any one time. The, the uh, fermenting vats are 10, so we can do double batches, and 10 barrels can be fermented at any time. So we have our permits in process. We're going through that wonderful process where we have to get lots and lots of permits. We are in that. We're working out our menu. We still have construction to do. That starts next week. And the construction, uh, we already own a building in historic downtown St. Paul. It's 6,000 square feet on the main level. So we, right now we have a hardware store in there. It's on the corner. And so the hardware store faces Fifth Avenue. The corner is Broad Street. And that is where our restaurant is going, our brew pub is going to go in. And the brew pub has double doors that will go into it. To the right, we're going to have exposed brick wall in this old building. It's going to, it's going to be to the rafters. It's going to be an industrial look with 
the, with a concrete floor. So we'll have all the equipment, the brewery equipment will be in full display there. We're going to have a room, a large room, where we can have a waiting area. We are then going to have a dining room where there will be a hundred people can be seated in there. There'll be a stage there for live music too. So, um, to give you an idea of the cost on these, the equipment for the kitchen and the brewery is going to be $170,000 and that is going refurbished on the kitchen. We're going as low as we can on that because the, the brewing equipment is so expensive. Now the construction cost is going to take about $40,000 to change the building around, to build the kitchen, to build the couple extra bathrooms, to do some things like that. And of course we have to have some cash in the bank so that we can always be sure that we're going to be able to make payroll. Now, what uh, would we do with the funds? If we win in this contest, <laughs> when we started planning this, we thought, oh, $20,000, we can do this whole thing. That's what our son told us. <laughs> so then we start investigating, we start talking to people, we start pricing things, and the price goes up, 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 up. So we're finally getting to where we're saying, we could spend $2 million on this. The problem is we have to pay that $2 million back. So we knew we couldn't spend that much money. So what we decided to do was just, we cut down a little on our marketing. Not, the, not because we thought it wasn't important, we knew it was very important, but we had to get the physical lay out there. So we put our money there and we would use that, we'd plump that up and get a buzz going on our brewery before it ever opens. And also for that cool waiting area that I told you about there, we would have a couple of vintage pinball machines, a foosball table, all coin operated so that we can um, make a little money there too. But the biggest, most exciting thing is that Governor McAuliffe is going to come to every new brewery in the state. How many businesses get that opportunity? We are going to be in contact with him constantly, his office, to make sure that we don't fall through the cracks and make sure he really makes it. We're going to make him his own beer. We're going to roll out the red carpet and play that to the hilt so that we can get all that free exposure. So who wouldn't want fresh food, fresh beer, upbeat attitude, and excellent service? We'll give it to the governor and we'll give it to every person who walks in that 